Hey PJs, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing my best to try and fix these store-bought slimes that I have. I've had them for quite a while now, and if you watch the original reviews for these, then you know that they were pretty terrible. I've been wanting to fix them, but until recently, I hadn't had any glycerin to like soften them up or whatever. But now that I do, I wanted to see if I could fix them because I feel like they have a lot of potential. So starting with the Whipped Bingzu Cuties one from Compound King, this one stayed the exact same texture as I remember it. It's extremely hard and rippy. It's got like a lot of residue to it because I think it has some instant snow in it. The Bingzu beads like to fall out and it's just not a pleasant feel to it. If you've ever tried Compound King slimes, they just have like the same texture overall where it's like really hard to stretch but then stretches too much at the same time kind of stringy I don't know so I did my best to fix it I added glycerin and probably more than I thought I should have I'm not really sure but it kind of turned into this crumbly mess where it was like some parts were not stretchy at all and then some parts were just completely goop so then I just wanted to add like a base slime to it and I didn't really want to change the color too much because it was like a unicorn type of color so I wanted to go with that theme so I added this slime that just has some jelly cubes in it and some foam beads because I was kind of going for like a crunchy type slime that has like a bunch of different types of crunchy things in it so that's what I wanted to add to the slime and and I originally thought that I was adding too much of that baseline like I thought that like it would overpower everything but then the more I mixed it it just kind of like first of all didn't really want to mix very well so it took forever to mix it and then when I finally mixed it it still had that weird feeling type of texture to it like when I stretch it and it's so hard to describe unless you've tried a compound king slime you're not exactly gonna know what I'm talking about but it's like hard to stretch but stretchy at the same time and it kind of gets tacky. Once it fully mixed it still kept that unicorn theme at least to me like it just reminds me of unicorn and like the chunky texture reminded me of oatmeal so I think I'm gonna call this one unicorn oatmeal and to top it off I would just wanted to add some gold glitter as like unicorn magic something and this is the final product I will say it definitely was a fail like it's it's a rough texture it still obviously has that like compound kings feel to it so it's not super stretchy and it kind of feels goopy and stuff and I really did like what I thought I could to it I feel like if I do more to it then it's not really fixing the slime it's kind of replacing the slime you know like if I add more base to it or whatever I'm kind of taking away from the original slime which I didn't want to do I wanted to actually fix the slime so I would say this one is a fail it's fun to play with it's got some crunches and the texture is nice because there's a lot of different add-ins but other than that it's not really that great. If it didn't have the sticky residue to it that it does, I would even call this slime decent and maybe it wouldn't be a fail, but it does and there's not much I can do with it. I'm honestly kind of at a loss of what else I could have done to fix this besides add more base to it which like I said I didn't want to do and if you have any suggestions of like what you would have done maybe you've had a slime similar to this what you did to fix it because like I have no idea what else to do with this type of slime like I have another one of these like whipped bingzu cuties that I can always try and fix again at another time like give it another attempt because it's like the exact same texture <laughs> But I don't know what else I can do with it. Even though this slime was a fail, it did turn out better than I expected because the original base was so hard to work with, I didn't know if I was even going to be able to deactivate it properly. So at least I'm getting some type of slime that you can actually play with, and I think it looks really good. I like the theme and everything that I went with, but it's still pretty rough. <laughs> Let me know if you think this one was a fail or not. And the other slime that I'm going to attempt to fix is this Elmer's Goo Cotton Candy Fizz slime. This is another one, if you watch the review, you know that this one was terrible. The very first problem that I had was that it was actually pre-opened, which I didn't realize until I took it home, but it was the only one on the shelf, so I don't know. And then the other problem is that it is 
extremely hard to get out of the container it sticks to the sides and the bottom the texture itself is slimy and wet i think this one also has some instant snow in it but obviously like it all it's a, it's a snow fizz as well so it's like a hybrid icy snow fizz type of slime i don't know but it's like rock hard almost <laughs> there's not much you can do with this one which is really sad because like with the color and i feel like the texture if it was a lot stretchier it would have a ton of potential to it and i know that elmer's is one of those ones that can be hit or miss for people i've seen people get this exact same slime and it's a lot stretchier i've seen people get this one and it's completely rock solid so even worse than mine but i don't know i just saw a lot of potential in this one and i had a really cool like galaxy theme in mind that i wanted to try so that's what i decided to go with just like the other one i started with adding some glycerin and this time i didn't add like a lot because i wanted to kind of work with it as i went and i hope it doesn't bother you that i'm doing all of this with one hand i try to keep one of my hands as clean as i can if i know that like whatever i'm doing is going to get messy because if not then i'm struggling to turn on the water to wash my hands off open doors whatever so i just try my best to keep one of them clean so i hope that doesn't bother you but i did end up getting the texture that i wanted i wanted to keep it a little underactivated because what i was going to be adding to the slime i didn't know how much it was going to change it but once i got to this like texture here i was tempted to keep it this way because it was actually fixed like it inflated and had sizzles and was really like bubble popply and <laughs> crackly and stuff and it was a really nice texture like if it had started out as like this texture i would have been very impressed when i got it but it wasn't so you know the power of glycerin is amazing but it's just sad that it didn't start out that way because it was really nice like i mentioned i wanted to go with a galaxy theme so i have this black clay that i wanted to add to the slime to make it like a diy clay fizz type of texture and i wanted it to have like a marble effect to it kind of like how the galaxy looks so i just did that in probably the best way that I could think of which is just kind of rolling out the slime and the clay and then mixing them together like twisting it and folding it over and stuff like that just so that it was like an even amount on like every part of it you'll kind of see what I'm talking about I don't really mix slimes like super well especially when I'm on camera because like I don't know I feel like my movement's restricted but I think I did an okay job it was like not looking super promising at first like the slime was kind of coming through more than the clay but then I just mixed it around a little more and it worked out. Once I got the clay and the slime to mix to how I liked it like how it looked and everything then I put it back in the original container and then added some of these galaxy night sky femos on top. I've put these in my restock before like on my slimes because I just love the way they look like they're so cute and I love like the hue that it's got and everything. <laughs> And I thought that it fit with this because it was like a galaxy theme type of slime. And this is the end result. So now I just get to do the fun part of mixing the clay in. I will say even though I like fix the base slime and stuff, it still does stick to the container. So it's probably a container problem and not a slime problem. But, you know, I mean, <laughs> I got it out of the container, but sadly it kind of mixed most of the slime for me. And I was kind of hoping to keep some of the original color in there to make like maybe a deep blue like blue purple ish whatever but i kind of forgot that the clay that i have is very strong in its color so it just turned it completely black which is also okay because i liked the way it looked and i like that the females were popping through every once in a while and they're colorful females so they pop out really well against like the black slime and it still reminds me of a galaxy and like a pure black night sky type of thing it looks really cool and I love the texture it did have a slight wetness to it at first but once I fully mixed it it went away it was like a clay fizz texture it got really light and sizzly didn't have any residue or anything this one unlike the last one was absolutely perfect And with that, that is the end of this video, and I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you made it this far, comment down below how you think I did with restoring these slimes, if you would have done anything different, what else you would have liked to see me add to them maybe, just whatever your opinions are. I haven't done one of these videos in a long time, so maybe I'm a little rusty at it, but I think at least the second slime was good. Now I am signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next one.